Okay. Welcome back to another edition of Real Bad Dude Plays. Uh, it is January 9th now of 2020. This is our first um, video game playthrough. Our first playlist of 2020. We're playing a game called Soul Gambler. It's a visual graphic novel. And to catch you up again, uh, this is our third video. It's video number three. We're continuing the story. Uh, link down below is uh, the link for videos one and two to see the whole gameplay, to catch you up with the story. But basically, we're Faust, a young man who's graduated college, has a boring job, a boring life, and the devil is tempting us. Um, we're saying no to the devil. We're doing the good boy scenario. All the choices, we're trying to be the, a good boy. We now caught up with an old man. An old man met us um, at, at a, a thinking place, a place of retrospection, a place of uh, solitude, where we're just trying to relax. We've been tempted over and over and over by the devil, but keep saying no. And the devil keeps coming back in our life, tempting us, prodding us, poking us, trying to get us to sell our soul. But we want to keep our soul. And some old man, who we believe also was affected by the devil is trying to warn us um, and he knows the uh, plan of the devil but he just passed out and died on the concrete before he could tell us the plan so that's where we're at we're trying to get through our life we're trying to figure out why the devil wants our soul so bad why can't he just leave us alone um, the devil shows up in the form of an old witch or a young sexy redhead lady so it's a temptress to us so let's get into the gameplay. It's video number three. I hope you like it. Let's go with Soul Gambler. Okay. So there he is. This is where we last left off. The old man passed out. I took my mobile phone and called the emergency. I ran away before anything happened to me. I think we're going to run away because he told us to get away from the devil. He told us to. So we're going to run away. The scene was already too bizarre for me. When I got home, I immediately looked for my reflex. No. Why? So you're on my side after all? For 300% of your soul, I can answer that question. No. 300% of your soul. You know, we're going to hell for eternity. Why are some wishes so expensive? I mean, come on, 300 no. As soon as my reflex is gone, the doorbell rang. Ding dong. Who is it? I'm a police officer. I need to speak with Mr. Faust. Is he home? He looks just like our boss. Yes, I'm Faust. Would you like to enter? That won't be necessary. I just want to ask you some questions, young man. Oh, okay. Is a man known as Hog your acquaintance? Yes, but I wouldn't call him a friend. Um, we don't want to lie to the police. We're not going to lie to the police. Because that's going to bring us down another slope. Yes, I wouldn't call him a friend. Did you have any sort of fight during the game? We had disagreement about the rules of the game. Then it's not true that you two... Then... It is not true that you two have a mutual friend. Wagner has always had a talent for bad companions. So I can assume that you are not a friend of the man known as Hog. No, we're not. I am certainly am not. I will not answer anything else before knowing the reason of these questions. Hog was found dead in his apartment. Ooh. I'm just questioning possible witnesses. I'm going to need you to come to the police station with me, Mr. Faust. Do I need a lawyer? No, you're not being charged with anything. I just want to formalize your testimony. All right, I'll go with you. I've never been to a police station before, not even to file charges. Look at the nasty chair. I mean, if your police station looked like this, I think your local government needs to spend a little money to upgrade your local police department. It's a dump. Hog kept putting me into trouble even after death. 
Wait here, please. You will be called soon. Okay. Look! You're not here as a prisoner or something like that. There's a good coffee house... There's a good coffee house in front of here. Feel free to go there and have something. Just don't take too long, okay? Thank you. Coffee would be nice now. I'm okay. I can wait here. We go across the street. Something's gonna happen to us. We're gonna wait right here. I kept waiting. The boredom was intense. I began to wonder whether they had already forgotten about me. Hey, will I have to wait much longer? No, the chief should be arriving soon. Hello? Hello, chief! Got it! I'll take care of it right now! Faust, you're under arrest. Oh, come on. What do you mean? What have I done? I'm innocent. New evidence appeared. Now, you will go to a cell. I was thrown into a cell in the back of a police station. This will be your waiting room. Until the police chief have time enough to take your testimony. At least I have company now, man. Hey, at least I got company now. What's your name, boy? Faust. Tell me, what kind of crime did the weird old woman frame you? He knows? How does he know? You made a pact, didn't you? Pact? Unfortunately, yes. I also made the pact. I don't know if you noticed, but you cannot talk about the pact with someone who haven't done it yet. It was that crazy old woman who found a way to get me in jail. She made me, she made them believe I killed an idiot known as Hog. Huh? So it was you? I was arrested for the same reason. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised. That old woman tells many lies. And someone managed, somehow manages to make everyone believe her. We are innocent both. Of this crime, at least. <laughs> she killed Hog herself every time. When I first met him, he had already died several times. What the hell are you talking about? He was alive and well the last time I saw him. And how can you be so sure? The dead don't talk, walk, play basketball, or laugh in my face. And people do not sell their souls in exchange for wishes, right? You know nothing about death. You know nothing about this world. What you assume to be true may be false. And what you assume may be false may be true. I didn't trust him at all. But in an awkward way, what he did say made sense. I noticed for the first time how much I didn't not didn't know. Just how stupid and arrogant was it to was it for me to believe so blindly in the truths spoken to me. It was like seeing for the first time things who had always been in plain sight, things that have always been in plain sight. I see. It wasn't wrong about you. I knew you were smart. Hog died the first time a few years ago. He was a drug dealer who got involved with someone he shouldn't. And how do you know all this? Let's focus on what's important, okay? The question is, should be asking is, how does a dead man come back to life and just go around walking and talking and all that? Okay, how does a dead person come back to life? Go around walking and talking. Hmm. And somehow that strange woman stocks souls of other people and uses them as currency to bring people back, not as humans, but as some sort of undead. When Hog died, the old woman made an offer he couldn't refuse. She told him she could bring him back to life, but he would have to pay her a debt before dying again. The amount of soul required to turn someone into undead is enormous. And the deal that the strange woman offered to Hog was that he should pay the double of this amount. Hog thought he'd collect enough souls to get credit with that crazy woman. 
so that he could come back to life when he died, which is very useful for a drug dealer. And that is why he always is so desperate to collect souls. But he was very naive. The old woman would never allow this to happen. Whenever he reaches his goal, she finds a way to kill him again. So in this way, he always comes back to life in debt, which works perfectly well for her plans. In addition to longer being a human, Hall is now a slave. He only accepted death. He could rest in peace. He tried to make a bet on your soul, right? Uh, yeah. That crazy woman uses people who are per afraid of death, such as Hog, to collect as many souls as possible. Do who knows to do, do who knows what? Probably meant to say to do, to do. Oh yeah, to do who knows what. I found her too much and started to cause troubles. Then she found a way to get me into here. Sorry, but why not just kill you? The old woman's a perfectionist, and it has a macabre sense of humor. If she killed me, she would not have my soul. And if she finds it amusing to put all the people to, who bother her in one place. So all the prisoners that are here are people accused of killing a hog? That makes no sense. Several people accused of the same crime. Wake up, Faust. Stop trying to make everything make sense, okay? We're talking about magic here. It's a type of her magic. She makes people believe in absurdities. Okay. Do you still doubt me? No, you're right. What you may say makes sense. Did you notice something strange in this cell? Let's see. There's 8A224, 8A223. The number of scratch marks on the wall. There's a picture frame. Hmm. I don't know. Besides two inmates talking about their souls, you mean? Yeah. Two guys who made the pact in the same cell would already be too much of a coincidence. But that's not all. Look around. There's nowhere we can see our reflection. Okay. He was right and I hadn't noticed. But that cell was absolutely matte. The iron bars were dirty and rusty. There wasn't anything that someone could use to see a clear reflection. This place has been prepared to receive us. We have no way to make any wishes here. But that's good. It's a trap. Yes, especially made to hold people who made the pact. Welcome to my world, kid. Anyway, I figured out how to see my reflection here. So tell me, how, and let's get out of here. No, 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 no. You're selling your soul to the devil, then. No. What do you mean? I can't tell you. It's not that simple. I know I couldn't trust you. Why are you betraying me now? I'll make you talk even this by force. Wow, all three of these are really negative. I knew I couldn't trust you. Hmm. Um, why are you so angry? Um, why are you betraying me now? I'm not trying to harm you. I'd help you if I could. Damn you, mother! Beep, 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 beep. I have no choice. The wish I need to make requires a lot more soul than I have. That's why I need your help. Let's make a deal. Nah. What makes you think I'll give you my soul? I don't expect you to give me anything. I need your soul. And you, you need to know how to see your reflex here. And you need more soul to get out of here. You're going to need my soul. Huh? Here's the deal. We will we will bet 
all the soul we have against each other. Then we'll let luck decide. Ah, I don't like that idea. Do you think like, do you think I like this Russian roulette? We have to do this because there's no other way. It would be better if one of us can be free than if both spend our days locked in here. First of all, it's a, it's a local jail cell. It's not prison. It just doesn't seem right. This is another ploy to get us to spend our soul. How can we trust this guy? How did he immediately know that we had a pact? And why can't we let the justice system decide? We haven't gone to court. We haven't been judged by a judge, sentenced to any crime. We're just in a local jail. Nah, I'm not going to do it. He was silent. I didn't know if he had given up or if his plan was something. Time went by and I was tired and hungry when I was thinking about considering making the bet. A police officer entered the cell. Voss, I come here to free you. See? It was the same police officer who threw me in here, but something's different about him. Quickly before she knows it. Okay. Am I not going to be freed? Ask for help to that witch you made a deal with her. Liar. Damn. The policeman shot him in the head. His body fell to the ground. He was dead. This is bad, chat. After running away from the police station, he took me to an abandoned building. Homeless and addicts were using the building as shelter. He took me through a door and scribbled some drawing on the floor. It took me to an isolated room. I don't have much time, so pay attention. Young man, I don't have much time, so pay attention. You need to get away from this country as soon as... From this country? Take this envelope. There's a fake passport with your photo and a ticket to Panama. Panama? Yes, the flight is tomorrow morning. You'll be safe there. I left a snack for you in the corner. <laughs> Eat, sleep, and go to the airport as soon as the sun rises. Why are you helping me? Young man, you can't let her find you. Your life is not the only one at stake here. I have to go now. Wait a second. Hmm? How can I trust you? I freed you from prison, didn't I? See you later, boy. Don't get caught. I'll try. I stood there alone with my thoughts. I didn't want to run away, but I knew it would not be safe to stay in the country with that old woman pursuing me. I decided to do what the police officer suggested me to eat, sleep, and go straight to the airport. Next morning, I was at the airport. I had only the envelope and my clothes with me. Let me guess, the TSA is going to stop them. It's a fake passport. I came to check in for flight AZ-666. Ooh, look at that, A666, bad number. Ah, yes, the flight to Panama. Oh, uh, yeah, the flight to Panama. Finney, with the stop in Dublin. Uh, Dublin? That's a pretty strange stop for a flight to Panama, isn't it? Stable airports are closed because of bad weather. It's rather unpleasant coincidence, but Dublin is currently one of the few airports with the good weather conditions. If you prefer, we can change your ticket. So you can look for a better flight. Um, no need to change anything. I couldn't afford to wait. The plan was to leave the country. Ireland or Panama? The important thing was to escape. Far from the old woman. Far from the madness. Chapter 3. Destiny, Fate, and Destination. How many chapters are in this graphic novel? Alright, we'll go a little bit longer. I 
I was so tired that I slept soundly through the trip. The stewardess had to wake me up when we arrived in Dublin. Excuse me? Where should I, to take, where should I go to take my flight connection to Panama City? There must be some misunderstanding, sir. This is the direct flight, sir. There is no flight connection. And if I may add, it would be quite strange to make a stop in Dublin for a flight to Panama. I, I know it makes no sense, but that's what I was told. It's written here on my ticket. Look. What minute, sir, please? Let me check, sir. Hmm. Sir, I don't know how to explain this, but I'm very sorry for what happened. Your connection wasn't in this city. I don't know how the attendants didn't notice you were embarking on this flight. With the wrong ticket? And now what should I do? Don't worry, sir. We can book your flight to Panama to for tomorrow morning. And I'll have to wait here? You'll be staying in an airline hotel? At our expense, of course. Okay, thanks for helping. I was not satisfied, but I knew it was important to be out of the country. Like, hey man, I'm from America. Where's the bars? <laughs> and the idea to walk around and enjoy Dublin didn't seem that bad at all. Hmm. Then a girl passed by close to me. <coughs> she seemed familiar. <coughs> there was something special about her. <coughs> I was out of the country. That was the most important thing. The idea to walk around and enjoy Dublin doesn't seem bad. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 excuse me? Um, um. But I thought it was. Oh my god. The hotel room was simple but neat. What's that? That's a little creepy. I took a bath and changed my clothes after a while. Someone knocked at my door. Um, hello? The door opened to black man came in. I would really appreciate if strange people stopped coming out of nowhere. Damn you, Faust! Whoa. Of all the bloody places in this world, why'd you come to Ireland? What's wrong with you? There was a strange thing about him. One of the man's eyes was green, just one. Wait, wait, wait. Who had green and red? One green and one brown. And that was the same color as um. one of those guys on the basketball court, wasn't it? This was happening all the time. You were supposed to be in Panama. Who are you? I'm the bloke that's trying to save your bloody arse here. A task you're making annoyingly hard. She's too powerful here. I can protect you here. Protect me? Yes, from the witch. This is her land. This is Ireland. She was born in these lands here. Her powers are stronger, and she can manipulate many kinds of energies. We'll need to get you out of here immediately. We need to go. I'll leave tomorrow. Where are you going? Panama? Hmm. Her powers are not stronger... Her powers are not stronger in Dublin, but her lands are nearby. Are you sure you will do exactly? Are you sure you will do exactly as I say this time? You need to leave this country. Yes, I'll leave. I'm here by mistake. I already have the correct ticket and all that. All right, be careful. Well, she's around here. Don't leave Dublin, and do not get by any means close to Galway. Hallway. Okay. Hey, wait. Okay, thanks. I decided to take a nap. I was tired. When I woke up, it was night. I wanted to enjoy the city. I thought it would be a good idea to go out and find me a nice pub. Look at this place. I mean, come on. The cursed soul. Look at all this shit. Who would want to go to that bar? 
This looks interesting. Oh my god. The name seems ironically appropriate. How can I help you, you fellow? This pub has an interesting name. The Cursed Soul. This is typically a pub with an unusual history. In the early 20th century, a famous master brewer built this place. He's always dreamed of having a pub. Share their joy and help people create bonds, he said. But he was always broke. He loved to gamble, and he lost everything. One day he said, he won a big bet and all the money he needed. But he was not happy. Why not? Perhaps because of the emptiness we feel after getting what we want in exchange for who we are. The fact is that he committed suicide on the opening day. That's macabre. Even more macabre is that he changed the name of the pub at short notice. The cursed soul wasn't the original name boy. He said the new name was to represent the price he paid for the pub to last forever. Well, the pub is still here, firm and strong after all this time. Now you tell me, fellow. What do you think that happens when someone commits suicide? They burn in hell, I guess. I have no idea. A guy like you always have some ideas. You are creative, you see beyond the obvious. I can't see an inch further from my nose. Why do you think I uh, use these lenses? I always do that. I tell the story of the pub. And I ask the same question. But I'll never get the answer that an old lady gave me. What did she say? That the person who commits suicide leaves a part of their soul behind forever. And that part of the soul transforms itself and becomes something new and separated from its source. And that it spends its days there, working to prevent other people from making the same mistake. I've heard of stories of this kind. And she said more. She said that some witches are able to trap and enslave those souls. And use them to influence others. They speak things in other people's ears, convincing them to do things they don't want to do. Pox, trades, and betting. That woman's very creative. Creative indeed. Creativity is the most underrated tool. And the most powerful one. It is though creativity that we see through the mirror of reality. It unveiled the truth. Makes sense. Okay. You still have much to learn, Faust. How do you know my name? I heard it the last time. Don't you remember? Um, no. Last time, but I have never been here? Okay, fellow. By the way, you may call me Garson. I am not, I don't, I'm so confused. I'm not feeling well. I'm feeling some kind of uh, vertigo. Oh, hi. <sighs> What's up, Temptress? Well, well, well. I was wondering when you would show up again. Did you miss me, honey? That bartender seemed to know some things. Now I know that you are another slave of the witch. Such harsh words for a boy. This is how you thank me for having helped you so much? Helped? All you did was give me stupid ideas. Ah, but I also gave you good advice. More than I could have given. It is your fault if you only listen to the bad ones. Anyway, I'm very close to getting rid of her. And you will help me. Won't you, big boy? Why would I help you? One hand washes the other, as you would say. I want to get rid of her. And you, too. I don't want to be involved in anything with you. I, I, I don't even trust you. I don't even trust you. We'll see when the time comes. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh. Whew. Shavano's I was long again with the bartender. Enough talking, you came in here to drink. 
A beer would be great. A beer and a shot, really. I'm on that fellow. I was depressed, drank. I drank to drown my own tears and feelings. Then I decided to return to the hotel. How I back, I found a person I knew better than I would like to. The old witch. I knew it would be easy to bring you here, Faust. What do you want from me? This time, he will not protect you. I looked behind me and saw the man in the suit. Faust, run! Shut up! She made a gesture with her cane. The poor man rose above the ground. I can break each one of the... Another gesture, and with a dreadful snap, his leg twisted. Ooh. Oh. I will break your bones. His arms began to twist. With small gestures, she made each one of his fingers twitched. Body. I'll kill you infinite times, and you still will not have what you have deserved. For having killed my son. I'm sorry, there's nothing else I could do. As soon as my son gets a new body, we will change the past. Each one of his descendants, yours and your children, with that woman, all Fausts. All of them will no longer exist, and my son will I have the life you denied us. She made one last gesture with her hand. Man, she snapped at his neck. That woman was dangerous. I had to understood what she wanted to do with me. She wants to kill our whole family line now. But I would not wait to see. I knew I had to face her head on. Let me go. I've done nothing to you. Hmm, maybe we should be strong. I knew I had to face her head on. Hmm. What do we do, chat? What do we do? That's where we're going to leave this video. That's where we're going to leave this video. You'll have to come back and watch the next video. Stand by. Okay. Okay. So I hope you liked that. That section was a little long. A little drawn out. A little drawn out. A little drawn out but you'll have to come back and see what we do do we run or do we stay and fight Gothamites friends I hope you like this video if you do please give the thumbs up like and subscribe come back for video number four okay come back for video number four Gothamites friends have a great new year